Oh no! Are you serious? I was avoiding so well and I just, I didn't realize they were that low. I, I'm stuck. everybody, Dre here, and welcome back to space. Today we're going to be checking out Nimbatus once again. Uh, it's been about two years since I've last played this game, and we played it when it was very much in early access. I was just notified that the game came out of early access, and there's a new mode now, which is the survival mode. So that'll be fun to come back in and check out what has happened in this game since we've last played. So yes, if you're new to Nimbatus, don't know anything about it, basically you build these giant drones of doom and explore alien planets by doing different types of missions. Sometimes you'll have to mine, sometimes you have to kill alien races. Uh, generally, it's all about destruction though, from what I remember. Now at this one, we actually have factory blocks on this, so we can actually press a button here, and then we have these little, little worms that we can release, and I believe these are made to, yes, mine as you can see, as well as probably destroy things as well. They're all automated, they're doing their own thing. They're not the smartest of designs as you can see, but they're doing their best. And yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys a big creation because we're playing the survival mode today, so we're not going to get into anything too big or too complex, but I did want to show you, you can definitely do that if you do want to. Uh, so yeah, we're going to return and actually check out the survival mode now. So yeah, we're going to go to survival mode, we'll keep it on normal, and uh, yeah, there's the sandbox mode as well if you just like building crazy big creations. But I, especially with games like this, definitely prefer the survival aspect. It makes it a little bit more fun. Welcome! The desire to explore new territories is written deep down in the DNA of mankind. And so after the conquest of the vast oceans, people found a way up to the stars. The Russian satellite Sputnik in 1957. The manned moon landing of the Apollo 11 by 1969. The colonization of Mars by 2071. All right, so now we know, guys. That's when it's going to happen. And the first successful travel through a wormhole in 2120 were all crucial milestones in the history of space exploration. So yes, this is the Nevadas is the craft that we're controlling. It's the mobile drone factory. It's finally ready to be sent out into space with its one-of-a-kind hyper warp drive and self-sustaining resource gathering systems. It is able to leave the safe zone within seconds. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a backstory now. This is where you, Captain, come into play. You are tasked with commanding the Dumbatus and designing drones to explore the endless expanses of the universe so that mankind may learn from your discoveries. It is time to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dre. Oh no, I guess I'm one of these captains, okay. So with this guy, you have unlimited parts and no deploy costs, but you have to build autonomous drones and only autonomous drones. That's a little too complex for me, uh, but I really like that they have a really difficult build for people who want a little bit of a challenge. And then we have all these other classes that basically um, cater to what you would prefer to do. For example, if you want to be a miner, you probably want to choose the miner class because you start with drills and all that fun stuff. But yeah, this has a good mixture. We have kinetic blasters and uh, plasma shotguns. Now, I should mention, obviously, as well, you gain items as you go about this, so choosing your class isn't that important, uh, but it definitely helps you out a lot. So yeah, we're gonna choose heavyweight. All right, Nimbatus is ready for takeoff, and here we go into the cosmos. Uh, I should also mention this is all procedurally generated, by the way. All the planets, all the missions, everything about this is all procedurally generated, so every time you play it, it's a different game. All right, gotta say, I'm digging this cutscene, though. Uh, are we actually gonna get a little bit of a story now on what we have to do out in space? Because this is really, really cool. Uh-oh. My, my, my bleeper's bleeping. That's never a good sign. Oh, it's really bleeping now. Okay. There must be an enemy somewhere. Oh, there he is. I can see him already. Oh, wow. Okay, it's, it looks like to be a rather big craft. And... Did it just shoot me? Is it destroying planets? No, it shot me. Okay, well, the Nimbatus has seen better days, and we haven't even started the game yet. And I guess that's how we get to our first planet, by crash landing on it. All right, and here we are on Di Diamond Dust. Ah, oh, good old Diamond Dust. And, um, ooh, uncommon weapon already. So, like I said, this is procedurally generated. Sometimes you have really good planets at the start. Other times, not so much. Uh, for the record, I have done a few test flights, and I could never find an uncommon weapon, so we are starting off strong here, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, so this is how this game kind of works. We have whole durability here, if you will. Basically, we have that giant craft chasing us throughout the cosmos, and we have to try and get away from it. Our threat is currently 0% right now. I believe if it reaches 100, we get attacked. It might just be random as well, though. For example, if we have a 20% threat, we get a 20% chance of being attacked. Not too sure about that. I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later, though. So yeah, basically, it's very much like FTL, where we have an enemy chasing us, and we have to explore the cosmos before they attack us. Now, I'm immediately noticing we got blinky planets over here. The blinky planets are the planets that give us really good resources, so we have a really good setup right now. This is great to start off with. All right, so for this first one, it said just to explore the planet and find the black box, but I want to get it kind of ahead of myself right now. We should have everything we need to make a very basic weaponized craft that has a shield as well as a storage container for any resources that we may find. Uh, so we're going to put a resource collector right on the front. In front of that, we have all these small batteries, so let's start storing some battery power on this. I think we'll just throw these guys right here like so. Oh, that's right, we can't clip them into each other. So we'll just have a big battery wall in front of us. I don't remember if these explode or not. I wonder if we should worry about that. We have an energy shield already, which is nice to see. Um, do I want to do double? No, you know what? We're just going to throw the energy shield in the back here, and um, that, should co that definitely will cover our whole craft, as you can see. Now, obviously, we need thrust power, so we're going to use our big thrusters for for forward momentum. We have these small thrusters for churning as well as reverse. Um, so, yeah, we'll put for right now. I don't know how far out we want these. We'll have to test flight this a little bit to, uh, you know, get this thing working perfectly. But for right now, this should be totally fine. We'll just have thrusters out there like that. And now we have everything to do a little bit of a test flight here. So... I don't hate this, actually. It's actually pretty easy to maneuver. Um, it seems like I put those thrusters in the right area. Obviously, we have a very light craft right now, and we'll really see how this thing reacts later on. A little bit of a slow backwards reverse, but that's only there if I, you know, crash land into a planet and I have no way to get off the planet. Uh, so yeah, that's a very basic craft, but it should do everything that we needed to do for this first planet. So let's visit this location and hopefully get some new weapons that are even better. Oh, I didn't even notice we get better fuel tanks as well. We're really lucky with this first planet, guys. All right, so we're going to launch drone. So this is how our threat increases, basically. The more times we launch, the closer the enemy gets to us. We also need to spend this commodity to deploy drones. So you don't want to just spam planets because, well, those commodities do, do run out. All right, so let's go look for that black box. Hopefully there's not too many enemies on this starting planet here. I highly doubt there will be, but uh, you never know. And I hope I don't need to mine in this planet because I don't have any lasers or anything to mine. Well, that's a black box. That's probably what we need right there. Simple enough. Let's just back this up a little bit. Oh, I forgot to put the jet on a reverse gear. So I only have one reverse gear. And with the gravity of the planet, it actually doesn't even really work. It just holds me in place. Okay, that was not the black box. Can I suck that thing up? All right, hold on. Let's turn around see if I can get this reverse gear to work with just one. Oh, it's not the best. All right, come on. Come on, little thing. Okay, I can't suck up the chest. Do I destroy the chest? Let's find out. Oh! Oh, it had crystals, but I destroyed them! <laughs> so yeah, you can either destroy the crystals or suck them up. Clearly, I was shooting a little too fast there. Oh! Okay, I'm not complaining about crystals anymore, though, because we got a bunch right here. All right, is this it? Oh, okay. So all the other b boxes were not the black box. That is the black box there. And I don't know if I... Do I need to suck that up? It doesn't look like I can suck it up. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I do? What did I do? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Please. Oh, it's it's scared. It's very scared. What the hell? Okay, so some sort of weld is, like, bugging out. And it still works. It's hard. I can't, I can't turn to the left very well. Uh, well, we'll do our best here to still explore, explore this planet. I know I need to drop these things off, so let me just quickly drop these off as I constantly deal with me slightly turning to the right. There we go. So at least we got a little bit of resources. Being that my ship is kind of broken right now, we're just going to get back to the Nematis and get our first upgrades. So, ooh! Oh, man! Okay! I am very excited right now. So we have the lasers. This is what I wanted. Not only that, it's an upgraded plasma long laser. So every item in this game gets random upgrades, and I'll show you those upgrades, uh in the actual um, hangar right now. So for example, the starting kinetic lasers that I have um, have 
A few upgrades here, as you can see, the attack speed has been upgraded. It looks like it has bullet projectiles, so I guess you can change the projectiles. And then we have stand standard combat and ammunition. So the ones that we just got are these guys. Oh, wow, these are big, too. So, yeah, what do these guys have? We have plasma, which I really like the plasma lasers because they're useful, as you can see, for mining and combat. And you'll see why in a second. We have long beam, and then what is this? Ooh, 100% damage as well. So, yeah, the plasma lasers don't do much damage in this game, from what I remember. Uh, they're more for mining, but being that we have a damage upgrade, too, I'm going to be using these guys. So now we have these giant lasers that I can terraform Earth with. How much, how long do these things last? I'm just looking at the battery power. Looks like I can actually, oh, wow. I think it regens as fast as I use it. No, it's slowly depleting, as you can see. Um, but that's more than enough attack, I think. I might even throw on the other weapons as well, just to have them. Thing is, you don't want to go crazy with weapons. Technically, you can, but um, you'll just be using so much for friggin' energy. So I'm just gonna throw these on E, and if we absolutely need support, we can use those weapons. All right, so we got some lasers now. We should be able to mine much better. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta fix one of these as well. And being that we're still at this solar system, let's just check this other planet out. Um, intercepting, oh, we got a distress signal, guys. Um, so this could either be a trap for pirates, or we could actually get something out of this. Let's investigate. I'm too curious not to. Uh, you find a field of debris, apparently left over from a civilian ship. You gather what little is left before you leave. Oh. Well, that worked out. What the hell are these things? Basic spheres. Okay, so we can add some weight to our craft if we need it for whatever reason. So for this one, we have to destroy the corp transmitter. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure we'll find out pretty quickly. And we get spikes as well as tritium. Sweet. All right, so our threat is going up pretty rapidly, as you can see. We're already at a 15%, and I believe it goes up to 19 or something like that when we explore this. So hopefully this planet's worth it. Oh, not again. I should have really tested out this. All right, I'm not even going to deal with this. We're just going to go back, and I got to deal with my weld. Something is, is gl glitching this out. Okay, please don't break, because every time you break, I think I waste resources. So, yeah, destroy the corp transmitter. I hope it's not at the core of the planet, but now we should actually. Let's, let's just test this. Oh, yes. This is why lasers are amazing. For terraforming especially, that is fantastic. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to terraform unless I need to, because they're usually on the outskirts of the planet. Let's get rid of the enemies first. Where are they? We have a few crash facilities here. Okay, so we're looking for a transmitter. That definitely looks like a transmitter to me. Okay, so we got this thing. Oh, I gotta get... Problem is, I gotta get nice and close with these. And, yeah, they're not doing much damage. So we're gonna turn on this as well. There we go, there we go. Take down the enemies and pull back, because my shield's just depleted. So, yeah, in this game, your batteries slowly regen over time. Um, and now we should be good once again to get back in here. My shield is regen once again. Uh, I'm gonna get all the enemies first, obviously. I really wish these kinetic shields or shots were a bit more accurate. They seem to be all over the place. Okay, okay, I'm trying to back up. Unfortunately, these, <laughs> as you can see, my my two li little rockets are doing their best, but they just, they don't have too much power at all. All right, and there's the final enemy. As I slowly fall down to the earth due to this gravity. Ah, and we're done. Well, obviously we're not done. We gotta kill this thing first. There we go. Shoot it. Shoot it. I guess we'll turn on the kinetic lasers as well, or shots, whatever they're called. And is this it? Oh, yeah. And I'm seeing we got some red goodness over here. So let's just expand this out a bit and go and mine that stuff. Okay. So what was the button? There we go. F. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need all the red gems. I think it's, I don't know what it's called. Tri I think it's tritium. Unfortunately, I'm constantly fighting gravity, um, so I would like to get into maybe the self-stabilization. We do not have a stabilization block yet, though. Uh, that would make my life way easier, because it's not the easiest thing to drive, but it's not impossible either, obviously. All right, we got a little bit more there. I don't know how deep I'm going to go. Let's just take a little explore down here and see if we can find anything. This is a very big planet, as you can see by the top right map. And usually in the core is where the good stuff is, so hopefully this leads there. Oh, yeah, we're getting into the core, and there's nothing here. Okay, so drop off a little bit of those resources that we just got. I don't know if, if we go, if we return to the Nim Nimbatus, if we keep these or not, so I always drop them off just in case. But, yeah, now we should get something. Oh, yeah, it was just spikes and, and tritium. I forgot. 
So we can upgrade. The only thing we can upgrade is the uh, the deploy cost, which is the one I probably want the most. So maybe we should wait. Because the rest of these, like, we can show more information on the mini-map, which would obviously help. Show more information on the galaxy map. Um, increases the amount of drone parts that can be deployed for free. Um, so yeah, we currently, by the way, we can deploy for free for up to 10 parts. We're already well over the 10 parts. And I think we're probably well over the 15 parts, so it wouldn't make sense to upgrade that. Basically, we have to spend money to deploy our drones right now, uh, which we're probably always going to have to. I'm just going to decrease my threat. Let's just do that. Um, the less threat we have, the more we can explore, so that kind of makes sense. All right, any of these planets worth going on? Um, uncommon we weapon with one upgrades. That's kind of tempting, obviously. The more weapons we have, the better. Uh, common weapons and super capacitor. Yeah, I think we're going to go to this planet because we also get some more small thrusters, which are really useful to have. So in this one, we got to destroy a large beehive. So I'm actually going to change my drone a little bit. I'm liking the lasers, but they actually don't do as much damage as I hoped for. So what I'm going to do is move these things around a little bit. I'm going to bring these out. Let's bring them to about there. And we're going to put these on a fixed location and rotate them inwards. The reason why I want to do this... Why is that one touching? This one isn't. Even with grids, I have a, tr a hard time placing things clearly. But yeah, we're totally good now. So basically what I want these to do is turn them on fixed. That way they don't follow the cursor. And we'll put them on... What was the key I was using? What's this key? This is F as well. Um, I guess it makes sense to put them both on F. Since we'll be using these exclusively for mining now. So we want these kinetic blasters to be our damagers. And I don't think blasters are going to be enough. So let's we weaponize this a little bit more. All right. Should we throw bow shotguns on here? That's actually looking pretty cool. I hope it doesn't glitch out like it did before. And yeah, rotation cursor, rotation cursor. Um, so that's looking pretty good. One other thing I want to do is uh, help the turning a little bit. So I am using all my thrusters. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to deal with turning for right now. We need more small thrusters, unfortunately. Um, damn, I really need to get some thrusters. I've been complaining about weapons, but thrusters are what I truly need. All right, but now we should, yeah, actually have a pretty decent amount of damage out the front. Not the most accurate of shots. Definitely wasting some energy, but um, for what we're fighting right now, which is pretty easy, we should be fine. So we're going to save and exit that, and... Again, that's a pretty decent all-around craft. So we're going to launch once again. Wow, 65 to launch now. These are not getting cheap, guys. But yeah, now we got to destroy the large beehive. So make sure my shield... I didn't check that, but yeah, my shield still covers everything, which is nice. Oh, would you look at that? We have some large beehives up ahead. All right, let's see how much damage this thing does. Not as much as I hoped for. This is taking a long time to shoot, and I'm still constantly dealing with the gravity, as you can see. It just slowly pulls my front forwards, unfortunately. Okay, thank God for shields, though. Seems to work quite well. These bees are not too aggressive. But yeah, I need I need a, a stronger weapon. I Maybe I should have bought those rockets. Fortunately, my force field's gone. I'm just going to take the hits here. So yeah, this is definitely using too much energy for my li liking. Um, I need some more energy upgrades. Because as you can see, just shooting those guys alone has depleted all my energy. And you can see I'm only having one battery right now. That's generally what you don't want, is to run out of energy really, really quickly. Oh, God, I shouldn't have moved over. All right, well, let's kill these guys, hopefully, before they kill me. There we go. Oh, I only got to destroy three of these? Okay. I've seen a lot more on this planet, so... Looks like we can at least get out of here pretty quickly. There we go. We're killing them quicker now, it feels like. Problem is, my craft's so small, and I have all these weapons, I'm dealing with recoil as well as gravity. Uh, was that not a beehive? Didn't I just destroy one? Was that not the correct beehive? What do you want from me? All right, there we go. We destroyed the large beehive, and I just realized laying on the beehive actually damaged me quite a bit, as you can see. Thankfully, I didn't lose anything. All right, so now I just want to test out my mining capabilities. And, yeah, if we just let this thing kind of slowly go down, we definitely don't want to go too fast, or we're going to have that issue. We might need more lasers as well to do this perfectly. It actually might make more sense for right now to put these on the cursor instead of fixed because it's very hard to aim these things if they do miss a piece like we just did. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to back up. Well, I can't really back up. There we go. Let's just get rid of that. All right. I was hoping to get some resources, though. I mean, obviously, the when we land on here, we want to collect more than what we're using because it does take resources to land on these planets. Problem is with this planet is these bees are freaking everywhere. So I don't know if it's worth fighting them just to get maybe a little bit of resources. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to risk it with this planet. I'm not fully 
liking this drone either, so I might have to do some changes to it. So we're just going to return to the Nimbatus. Hopefully we get some good loot out of this. Um, uh, kinetic grenade launchers. I don't like anything that's hard to aim. And grenade launchers are definitely hard to aim. We got the small thrusters, though, which is something that I wanted. Okay, and with those new thrusters, uh, as you can see, my steering is now... We basically have, like, tank-like steering, so it can turn on a dime. That makes my life so much easier. I added a little bit more battery power on this thing, too. All right, I'm gonna have to start really getting some of this stuff, though. I It's costing me 95 to land on this planet. I really hope it's worth it. We might just want to take the wormhole, and I think that resets it when we do the wormhole, because every planet we go on is getting more and more expensive. Um, and obviously, if I'm not getting a lot of resources on these planets, it's not really worth it. Oh, God, this feels so much better, though. Whoa! Light bugs. Okay, I'm already seeing resources. That excites me. Oh, God, is it gonna kill me? You look so nice! Oh, God, they explode! That's dangerous. That's real dangerous. Okay, let's kill that thing from far away. Thank you. That's, that, 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 that's a lot of nope right there. So, great. We have bees on this planet and whatever the hell those things are. So, that's fantastic. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta... Ooh, I don't know if I like that. I didn't think about that either. I gotta have my lasers on while I'm collecting, and that risks me actually destroying this stuff with the lasers, just like I did. So, that's not very smart now, is it? I'm getting a little bit of it. Oh my god, yeah, screw these lasers. Well, bad news, those damn beetles, or whatever the hell they are, have actually destroyed a lot of my craft, as you can see. I don't have my uh, front turning things anymore, so I'm back to dealing with really bad steering. I've lost half of my batteries, uh, most of my fuel tanks as well, so I really gotta be patient here if I don't wanna waste money. So, I'm gonna just try and find the beehives the best I can and hopefully get the hell out of here. I mean, even the bees! Okay, this is, this, this is bad. Problem is, I can only store so much energy now, and these damn shotguns, they don't have the range. Oh god, I don't even have a shield. I do not have a shield right now. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, kill it quick. Oh, no! Are you serious? I was avoiding so well, and then I just... I didn't realize they were that low. I... I'm stuck. I can't... I'm gonna have to return the hangar. I have to manually return the hangar. Okay, well, we learned something. Um, this craft needs some work. That's what we learned. I'm just gonna get rid of the lasers for right now. I think I'm also gonna get rid of the shotguns. I know that's crazy, but... My biggest issue is power right now, and the lighter this thing is, the better, honestly. Oh, no! Oh my god, this is actually a really hard planet with this mixture. I'm just gonna return to the- I can't do anything anyway, so I'm gonna have to return to the hangar, and I think I'm gonna have to accept defeat on that one. Um, I just don't have a decent weapon to deal with them. Even the nades, they don't really do very well at all. Uh, so that's a big bummer, but the benefit being is you can leave planets. Um, we are in the Nimbatus after all. We're not technically landing on the planet. And I'm gonna go to the wormhole because, yeah, that's gonna up my threat to 84%. And I don't think we should go any higher than that. It's not a very good idea. So it looks like we found a pirate ship. Thankfully, they dislike the corp more than me. So, um, they're offering, uh, from 20 of my stuff, um, they'll attack the corp and distract them. I, uh, oh man. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna agree, actually. Let's see, ne negative 24, so does my- I thought my threat would restart every wormhole? It doesn't? Okay, we're gonna have to move a lot quicker through the galaxy then. So we got a, we got some debris we can grab before we get sucked in. What do we want to grab? Drone parts heal when out of combat. Oh my god. We also have batteries recharge factor, uh, faster. We can do factories as well. Having a factory part would be actually really, really cool, but obviously the weapon upgrade. With three upgrades, we get one weapon though. That could either be a really good weapon or a really bad one. I think we'll play this smart. My biggest issue right now is defense, so let's get the drone parts uh, heal when out of combat. Uh, because I can easily deal with this if I heal between each fight. Problem is, I can't do that, so let's do that and uh, hopefully get that. There we go, so we dropped the threat down by quite a bit, not fully. All right, and we got a much bigger system here, as you can see. Um, obviously, a lot of good rewards down here. Um, looks like we can even go... Ooh, I want to know what that is, because that's way cut off, and we'd have to go all the way back. We would risk a lot going out there, but I'm assuming it's a really good reward. 
Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. We went through the first galaxy, and uh, it went quite well. I mean, we had a few issues, but uh, that's just the luck of the draw when it comes to weapons. Benefit being, we're still alive, and the threat is back down to almost zero, so uh, we're totally fine. We got a full haul as well, so we can explore much more and hopefully get some better upgrades. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Should we do more? Um, obviously, it's up to you guys if you guys are enjoying this or not. I'd like to try and get as far as we can because, well, we're doing quite well right now, and... Uh, um, yeah, I want to see what else is in this game. It's actually really, really fun. They obviously added a lot to it. And, uh, yeah, I recommend it if you like, you know, building like games like this one. So, yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see any more. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.